Sukuna has a few surprises left. You know, the redacted fire curse technique open, Yoruzu's gift, full out shrine, the divine weapons from the Heian era, and his true form. Remember, he isn't returning to his true form just yet, despite three characters asking him on separate occasions, it's because he wants every advantage over Gojo. He wants it to make it look like that he's killing Megami, as this is a psychological battle just as much as it is a physical one. Now you may say, oh, Sukuna is holding back in this fight because he knows he has to fight others. But again, that's not true. Gojo and Sukuna did not come into this fight with a single thought of defeat and they know they are unfathomably stronger than the rest of the sorcerers. Even in this state, as the chapter implies, Gojo is still more powerful than them, which applies to Sukuna as well. Neither of them needs to hoard resources because if they weren't going all out in this fight, they would not be able to experience true satisfaction and purge their loneliness that comes with being the strongest as the chapter itself states no no he's got a point Gojo winning the title of strongest of all time. He still hasn't accomplished his entire goal, part of which is to save his foster son Megami. Remember in chapter 220, our crew was discussing ideas to do so, but they had no means to achieve this unless Sukuna was beaten and battered up. Hence, this is a perfect time to act as Yuji even has a mysterious soul swapping ability right now and there is a missing Sukuna finger that Gojo hid. However, we have to address the elephant in the room. The red flag that everything is going a bit too well for Gojo. After all, it's hard to imagine Sukuna getting completely defeated without revealing his trump card. There's open and all his other techniques, but they cannot bypass infinity because if they could, Sukuna would have used it from the start as he isn't playing around. And now that Maharaga is gone, it's hard to see how Gojo will die as his allies are on standby. In all likelihood, Sukuna will use some tricks as a last ditch effort. He hasn't revealed Yoruzu's gift. Although it is certain it cannot be a cursed tool like the inverted spear of heaven because it was explicitly stated that Yoruzu can't create those. However, if she gave her curse technique to Sukuna, maybe he is built different with his knowledge and efficiency where he can achieve the impossible. Sukuna deduced everything about Yoruzu's curse technique upon her death perfectly, which made her die in delight that Sukuna noticed her for once. She constructed and showed her love to Sukuna by constructing her heart as she stated. But if Sukuna uses her power, it only shows his hypocrisy and reliance on love that he so happens to claim is meaningless. His ideology would be challenged and therefore defeated by Gojo's collectivism as Gojo has won the title. And since curses will always be curses, which we were reminded of in chapter 213, he would exploit love to get what he requires for victory, as Angel was someone that posed a threat to make him lose. So Sukuna used Megami's memories with Hanakurasu to pretend to love her, but then consumed her since he's a cannibal. We are told in chapter 213 to never forget the true nature of a curse. Therefore, the label that Angel gave Sukuna as being the disgraced one fits perfectly as he lies, cheats and steals. He goes against God's law by removing the existence and memories of others completely, defiling the memories of those that die, which Todo told Yuji never to do as a sorcerer when he lost his will against Mahito in Shibuya. In chapter 219, Yoruzu created a perfect sphere following the theme of Gojo and Sukuna's fight. They are accomplishing the impossible every other chapter due to their overwhelming power. A true sphere has no contact area and generates infinite pressure as a result, making it untouchable. With Sukuna adapting to her technique and instantly understanding it, therefore an immovable object of infinity versus an unstoppable force of true sphere, infinite pressure against infinite space can it pierce through? Let me know in the comments. Theoretically, it may create a black hole. That means all the foreshadowing of Gojo's death will be true. He will die a gruesome one just like he mentioned, paralleling Toji Fushigoro with his body cut apart. Now to enjoy more peak fiction, why not watch the video on your screen right now regarding Boruto's time skip? It has finally started.